Back again with a new video. Today we're going to talk about how to set up the 120Hz high refresh rate on your Series X or S with your new display if it supports it. If you don't know, you can still follow along as you'll see through the settings. You'll see if it's enabled or not. But yeah, without further ado, I say we'll just get into this. Also, if you want to see a little demonstration of the difference between 120 FPS and 60, which will be enabled if you have 120 Hertz display versus a 60 Hertz, check the video that I will be linked in the description. I'll show a quick snippet on the screen as well. In that video, I'm also talking about a monitor that can actually do 120 Hertz on the Series X and S. So yeah, if you want to check the rest of that out as well, you can, but I'll leave a timestamp to the specific point where that actually occurs. All right, enough of that, let's go. First, you want to make sure you use the HDMI cable included with either your X or S just to make sure you can actually get 120 hertz at 1080 1440 or 4k bearing in mind the series x1 can go all the way up to 4k 120 hertz including 4040p and 1080 whereas the ss cable maxes out at 1440p 120 hertz it still includes 1080p though but 4k 120 is off the limits with the s so if you're going for that you'd want the series x to match with that either way once you've got the correct cable just pop it into your console pop it over and into your tv but you're the console of course head to settings general and tv and display Display. Now here's where you see the option for resolution and directly under that if it's available for your display you'll see the option for refresh rate. Now you'll be able to tick whichever resolution you want first of course and then tick whichever refresh rate is also available. Now bear in mind if it says 120 hertz but it still gives you the option to select 4k and you can't run it with the cable you're running or the display you're running it will drop it immediately down to 60 hertz so it won't just let you freely mix and match settings even if your display or cable isn't supported so if it has the option and you're still unsure try it there's no harm and you'll see straight away if it works or not also you can go and check into the 4k tv settings to see if it supports hdr dolby vision other features like that etc and it sometimes will still say it supports 4k example mine says it supports 4k but it flat out doesn't it lets me pick it and it says it's displaying 4k but it's not because it's not possible so just bear that in mind it might be tricking you there then you can also go into video modes where you can also check variable refresh rate if your monitor supports it free sync and many of the features in there so yeah once you've gone through that and personalized everything so your monitor has all the features it has enabled because you probably want that if you spent money on a new one you're done and that's it you're set up and ready to play games at 120 fps if the game supports it that is a key part not every single game will have 120 fps mode or will just natively standardly run at 120 fps all the time i know games like call of duty black ops cold war is one i'll be out for Ori and the Will of the Wisps, I forget the name of that every single time. That supports 4K 120, so that's actually really nice, but not every single game has it, and some that do will be paired with lower resolution modes. So beware, but yeah, you're ready for it whenever it happens. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoy and if it helped out in any way. Questions, leave them in the comments as well. I'll see you all in the next one. See ya. Feel any more better than shopping at Kohl's But I did it anyway Cause I be seeing it when I be looking at